My father was a car parking attendant in the 1950s. A gentleman called Sir Fred Sutton liked my father in terms of his passion and his keenness for selling cars, and he lent him a thousand pound. With that thousand pound, my father went out and bought about six or seven cars, rented another car yard, and went in to do his own business in the mid 1950s. As my father's business was growing, we'd either be buying a property that the cars were out the front of and we, the family was living behind the car yard. So my father would bring the, the customers in and mum and make them a cup of tea and a cup of coffee. She made these great passion fruit cake and they'd get a piece of cake. He was very much an ideas guy, loved always doing something different to what the other dealerships were. He had this saying called presentation precedes performance and his car yards had to look really good and then he'd try and dress cars up differently. So he thought the way to help his business was to be something different than the normal run-of-the-mill car dealership. This site is 22 acres in size and was visionary at the time when Peter created it back in the 80s. That concept of driving into the middle and, and shopping around, allowing people to switch between brands but stay within the Peter Warren Group is, is an important part of who we are and ensuring that we can be with them throughout the whole of their automotive ownership experience. We prided ourselves on having something of an auto more concept. Today, the group represents 28 different brands across 82 retail outlets right up and down the eastern seaboard. Uh, from Queensland through the heart of New South Wales and more recently into Victoria. We employ around 2,000 people and generate about $2 billion in revenue. Behind the scenes, we're achieving enormous efficiencies by centralising reconditioning and our finance function and our service centres so that we can swap things around, you know, almost like a department store. We've worked that model for several decades and we've got that running in all three states at the moment. It works really well for us. So we see an opportunity to grow that model out further. What separates our business from the competition is our culture. The culture started with Mr Warren many years ago and it got filtered down through Paul and Brad and Anthony and the family. The culture for me is the blood that courses through the veins of the group. It's the how and why of what we do and we will take family culture over corporate structure every day of the week and I think that really resonates through in everything we try to do from recruitment right the way through to enjoying the successes of you know, long-term anniversaries. I like working for a company that has a, a strong and long history and has a really good reputation in the industry. I like working with people who have got shared values to me. What we have here is very special. For us to spend 8, 10, 12 hours a day here, five days a week, six days a week, they've got to be family. To know your team and to know your people is so important. And to be able to have a chat, talk about their family, their situations, their experience, also what they're seeing within the company. Family cultures, you feel welcome, you feel safe, there's always support. I don't think there's many businesses in the car world that is like this. I think people stay here for so long because they feel like they're part of not only our workplace, but they're part of the family. I've worked here for 32 years. I've been here now 23 years. I've worked for the dealerships for a total of 17 years. Just in parts here, we've had five staff reach a milestone of 40 years service. We've had a staff member that's been here for over 50 years. And I think that says something. When our family sold part of our business to private equity, to give us that extra bit of capital to grow our business, that enabled us to come and meet with the Frizzell family and put our businesses together. Then having an IPO, becoming a public company, and then recently having been able to ask the Johnson family to come on board in Victoria. What was the attraction of both those businesses is not just the name, but what the name brought with them. The team, the brands, and the culture, and the people that had been in both those businesses for many, many years. We're at the start of a tremendous road ahead. What we've got to do is to make sure that we don't forget the real good values of the culture and the place that the Johnson family, the Frizzell family and the Warren family have had over all those 25, 30, 40, 50 years. You can't forget that. But what we've got to do is make sure we keep those values and take advantage of the capital that's in front of us as a public company. We should remember way back when Peter created this the fundamentals were to be the best possible brand ambassador he could be for the car companies we represent. 
as well as being you know, that, that community-minded business which was localised, we supported people and of course we go on the journey with people through their automotive ownership experience. Those principles are still true today. I think the legacy that I would want our company to maintain is treat people the right way, be genuine, be fair income, and I don't think you'll ever go wrong.